Yeah. Can you actually just throw your bow on the first on the first beat? I think they're getting the gist of the music and, the, and, and feeling it and also working on small details but I think those really come together when you sit beside someone like G27 members who can, can sight read this stuff really really well that, that combined, combining the two the kids really get it. It's very fun. He allows us to really feel the music and gives us great advice. I think it's a fantastic thing that Eric is doing. And no, I mean, I love his orchestra and I, I really believe in his musical values too and the way he feels music. So it's really great to support that and support him bringing in to work with younger, younger people. And to get to sit next to them is really wonderful because I, I can see, especially the cellist that you just talked to, I mean, I see she can do all kinds of things. She just needs a little bit of encouragement and kind of support. And I know for me, uh, when I was that age, and even now, <laughs> just to have a little bit of encouragement and belief in in yourself is really great to have from another person. So. It's very exciting to sit next to a professional cellist, um, just because in my orchestra I don't get a lot of experience um, having guidance from a cellist themselves. Usually, the conductor always plays violin or viola or something, so it's very helpful. I think it's pretty fun. It's a great opportunity to perform because I get very nervous in front of people like when I'm performing. So this is like a way to get used to it. Good, excellent. Some really nice things. The, the most important thing with this movement, of course, are all the little notes and especially first violins. I'm glad we took out the trills there in measure 20, 21, 22, 23. That's nice that we take out the trills. Depending on the concerts and how many weeks before or between concerts we have, I usually come about three or four weeks beforehand each Saturday to work with the students. Um, and each week we bring in different uh, mentors of, of uh, G27 this week. Of course we had Rachel Mercer, but Karen Moffat, Atsuko, a lot of different people have come. Um, and so we try to, to prepare them as much as we can, but also the person who's in charge of the string pro program here, she works the, with them on an individual basis as well. So we all work together in collaboration. We've been so fortunate to have TELUS and the TELUS uh, community grants on board to, to fund this. Um, it's been fantastic um, in terms of building the program because not just collaborating with the students, but also um, doing a lot of social media so YouTube interaction with the kids on our website and Facebook so they can ask us questions. So it's not just the weekend, week out um, uh, rehearsals and concerts, but it's also this continuous dialogue that we have with the kids all year round uh, in terms of uh, educational experience, but also just a, a general performance experience. Um, and another huge thing is we're bringing Dixon Hall, another at-risk community school, on board. So we're expanding it and hopefully with with further funding, we can expand it even further so we can have a, a really stable um, community orchestra that can work with professionals on a daily, uh, weekly, and throughout the year basis. Praise the Lord.